Hi. Howdy. Look up a second. I got something new on the ceiling. No. Damn it. Never works. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've been busy. Well, yes, we have. I've been busy. Crazy's been slacking. Who knows what she does? <laughs> I have not been slacking. We have a new battery box. Yes. Thanks to Crazy. This is our new main now, which is still full. Yes, still full. And redid this. So, holy crap. Um, could you use some power in this place, please? You told been... me not to. I've been making titanium, so... We've been running and on... I was making steel. We've been running purely on this methane turbine. And these new diesel gens I put in the basement, which I'll show in a minute. And we are completely full on power. And I want to get this bad boy hooked up today. What bad but boy? This gas turbine. <clears throat> but I do believe there might be an issue. Okay. No, there's not. For some reason I was thinking it was supposed to be IV, not EV. Okay. So we'll put that back. Throw the Lapatrons back in. Crazy's been making Lapatrons like it's nobody's business. So, this is going to be like an emergency power type of thing. Um, except for when there's an emergency that the tank is full. Which, there's an emergency the tank is full. Um, <laughs> but I do believe with what we're getting ready to do today. To do today, to do today. Uh, there's going to be a lot of power needed. So, the redstone got turned around. Thanks to the cable guy. Or NetMC. As he's known to everybody else. Caught him the cable guy because, you know, cable guy is always here when he got plans. The only time I could schedule him to come in and do it was when I had to do Factorio the other day. So he turned this around for us. That way we could turn around the steam turbine. So now it's facing the opposite direction. And... We can't run it right now because we have no charcoal, which that problem is getting taken care of right now because we are putting different program circuits in. Program circuits we had in before were for making creosote. These program circuits, which are number four, is for making something called charcoal byproduct. And we need to hurry this. Where's our fire? Right here. Why is there a fire there? Why is that pipe getting shit? Um. Um. I think the byproduct, the output of that is hot. Um. Yet, yeah, this is going to be an issue. Okay, so apparently that is a hot output. So using plastic pipes is bad. Um, pull those things, please. What thing? The circuits I just put in there. Uh, so I can get this re piped. I never once thought that since creosote wasn't hot that charcoal byproduct would be hot <clears throat> but apparently it is hey well you learned something new uh yeah which is the same thing i've already known which is never overlook the temperature the temperature is 775 which is too damn hot for plastic. Alright. So, there's to that. And we gotta run along here. And... Through here. Turn 
my stupid ass thing off because I can't stand this jetpack. <clears throat> At least it wasn't a wire fire. That would have made me more mad. Okay. So, now that that's... Oh, give me a second to get downstairs. Because we didn't turn any of the distillation towers on. We just did their maintenance. So I need to get them turned on. Uh, let's see. Charcoal byproduct on. Wood tar on, uh, wood gas on, wood vinegar on. Okay, put them back in. And then you can come down here. Okay, you can I had to see... write myself a note real quick. Okay. You can see that the wood, the charcoal byproduct one is staying on pretty healthy. Now that it's got all that out, it's off. The wood tar has already ran once, and the wood vinegar and the wood gas should run as they need to. There goes the wood gas. Uh, this is a way that we're getting um, less creosote, but we're getting a lot of different things that we actually need. Um, crazy if you look up charcoal byproduct in your NEI. I will try to run you guys through what we're needing all this stuff for. Um, also, don't forget, we need to get the small pile of charcoal dust out of the charcoal um, byproduct distillation. I did not set that one up. So, Which is what? The <clears throat> byproducts one? Yeah. Okay. So the Distillation tower recipe for uses of charcoal byproduct. You'll see you get small piles of charcoal dust, wood tar, wood vinegar, and wood gas. All three of these are getting redistilled. Wood tar is going to be going through giving us creosote, which will burn off. Phenol, which if you look at uses for that, is used to make them molten bisphenol A stuff which if you look at the uses for that is the new recipe for molten epoxy resin with epichlorohydrin and sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide we set up a few videos back we're getting that from salt water there's another way we're going to be doing it soon so the only thing we need to go with that is the epichlorohydrin and the epichlorohydrin is chlorine. Oh, that's the deprecated one. Never mind. Is glycerol and hydrochloric acid. So we'll set that up probably pretty soon. Because Crazy's been going nuts wanting those circuit boards again. Um, and then also in the wood tar is toluene, which we use for TNT or ITNT. And benzene, which we need for this styrene plastic stuff that we'll eventually be making. Um, it's molten polystyrene, and <coughs> I think we can use that for um, some kind of plastic somewhere down the line, so it's just going in a tank. Um, the other ones we will have is wood vinegar which is distilled to acidic acid, which we have a tank for, which is going to be used for, um, we actually have no idea at the moment because the only thing we see it used for is this vinyl acetate, which is glue, which we don't need, methyl acetate, which is also used for glue, um, and then eventually this ethanon stuff, which we are boycotting here, which is used to make the cetane boosted diesel, uh, which doesn't use diesel, it uses biodiesel. It is a replacement for nitro diesel, which pisses me off. So we're boycotting that shit and not making it. Um, 
let's see. Wood vinegar, we also get water, which we're using to make hydrogen. Uh, acetone, which is used to make acidic acid, pretty much. Um, I think we're just letting it void itself, basically. Uh, methanol, which we're burning most of the time. Ethanol, which we're burning most of the time. Methyl acetate, which we're letting void itself. If you come back here on the back of the wood vinegar tower here, you'll see two signs. That is because that's where the... Oh, this is the other one. This is where the... Uh, acetone and the methyl acetate shit comes out that we have no use for and it will self void God, I cannot hit that fucker. There you go. It'll self void. So we don't we'll just leave it sit there. Uh thank you, Johannes, for giving me something that I need to void since I hate voiding shit. At least give us a recipe to break it down into carbon and oxygen or something um, and then that is it for the wood vinegar the other one is wood gas which has crazy's precious in it uh, carbon dioxide carbon monoxide we're allowing both of those to void the reason being the only thing we can see that's useful is using it to make the acidic acid which we don't give a shit about or making methanol. Problem being. It gives you this hydrogen too. Carbon monoxide does not give you hydrogen. No, your wood gas. Oh, I know that. Um, the problem being with it making methanol, because we were originally going to set this up with the carbon dioxide, was a way to make methanol from it. But if you look at the recipe, that. it's 1,000 to 4,000 gives you one which is bad math in my opinion but from the methanol you get 84,000 EU hydrogen if you burn it straight will give you 20,000 EU so 4 times 20 is 80 Add in the 11,000 EU to make it, that's over the 84,000 you would get from the methanol. So that is, in my personal opinion, a useless recipe. For somebody that needs methanol for some of the other uses for it, like the chloromethane or uh, what is the other shit? Uh, if you're actually making that methyl acetate, which I have no idea why anybody would, or the acidic acid, or if you're needing it to make glycerol, um, then maybe it's useful to make it. But we have plenty coming in from our uh, fermented biomass over there to the point where we're burning it off. So I don't think we're going to need to make it. Um, Let's see. Also, out of wood gas, you get hydrogen, as crazy said. Methane, which we're burning off at this point. We have so much of. And ethylene, which is a way of making plastic. Mm -hmm. So, crazy now has a way of making plastic again. If I can find the... Where the hell is the recipe for it? I thought it was just ethylene and oxygen. Um, it is. Um, not in here. Ethylene, benzene, oxygen, ethylene makes acidic acid. No, keep going. Uh, which page are you on? 11. Oxygen with a program circuit of 1 and ethylene make molten polyethylene. 
Okay, your page is different from mine. That's vinyl something for me. <clears throat> Learn to any eye. Apparently, I am doing a terrible job of it today. <laughs> I seriously cannot find molten plastic this way. All I'm finding is acidic acid with oxygen. That's the first recipe. It's right um, after two chlorine with okay. ethylene it gives you vinyl chloride. I found it with compressed air. Ah, there it is. It's one oxygen and ethylene gives you molten polyethylene, which is plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, mine's on 13. Yours on 11. All right. So that's what we've been working towards. Um, we have this ready to be set up. I do believe the only issue with it is that these are on the wrong side, and then it should form. Because they actually have a distinct side they have to be on. But it is going to move. It's not going to stay here. Uh, apparently that isn't the issue. Apparently it's the same issue that uh, uh, XAR was having on Dialocraft. Is the maintenance hatch wrong? No, as long as it's in that middle, that's all that counts. It just has to be in that middle row somewhere. And so does the, uh, wait a minute, that's a problem right there. Output, that's supposed to be an input, not an output. That's the input for the oxygen, or the uh, steam. So that would probably be what's keeping it from forming. Mm. Um, but XAR had an issue with a uh, diesel that would not form when it was on a certain height. Once it got moved to, if we moved it directly up a level in his base, it would work. And if we turned it a certain direction, we could get it to work. And it's kind of kind of messed up. We fought with it for ever trying to get it right. There's an input hatch. Let's see if we can get this thing to form down here. But now we have our steam running. So we're making more power, which we don't really need. Um, once this bank gets full, it'll turn that off. And we'll just build up charcoal at that point, which we probably need to do. So it's good that it'll be doing that. Okay, so there's the input, and yep, now it formed. There we go. But it'll be moving upstairs. We were just building it here for uh, her to make sure she had all the bright parts. It'll actually be going over here on the other side of this one. And the next thing we'll actually be doing, which we'll do off camera tonight, is hooking up these, at least this one. We'll be piping this one, but we'll be hooking this one up. And we need to get the refinery gas dealt with. Um, the only reason why it's not hooked up and running to get rid of the heavy fuel that we have is our uh, refinery gas is completely full. And refinery gas has two options here as far as I can tell uh, from what I was looking before we can burn it for 128,000 EU or we can if we really wanted to we could break it down to butane propane helium methane and ethylene but we don't need to do that because most of that is just going to get burned off by us anyway so why waste the power to break it down or it can be used in a centrifuge to make LPG, but you put 800 in, you get 400 out, so half. And then the LPG is put through the gas turbine for 256, which is double 
what the refiner gas is. So it's exactly the same because you're doubling on one side and halving on the other side. So why waste the power to centrifuge it when you're going to get the same amount of power out of it? And we can't use it to make epichlorohydrin anymore, so we are going to burn it off. We have, I think, the pipe mostly ran, if my memory is correct. Oh, it is ran, yeah. Pipes ran, I think there's one I've got to connect to make it actually output. Um, but we got to get the maintenance done on it and get it wired. Now that Crazy has plastic being made, I'm going to have her make us a second insane voltage battery buffer. Uh, that way we can have it feeding into that one to store the power from this one. Because uh, I don't want to overload that one because it's already taking power from here and from here. So... Uh, I want to have it take it out from there to a separate one, and then let. Why it is the fluid output turned off? On what? On the plastic. Um. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe because we were gonna move this. I think I was going to redo this setup at one point, but I'll turn it back on because it shouldn't be off. Um, it's a really good question. I have no idea. But it's back on now. Um, it's not moving, though. It'll probably move with the next process. Oh, no, there nope, been. it was turned the wrong direction for some reason. But it's right now. Oh, because the old setup went down. Oh, okay. So it just hadn't been changed. The machine changed. that was here, yeah. Okay. So, other than getting uh, that taken care of and turning this bad boy on, which we'll do later, uh, that's what we've been doing. Um, like I said, I do believe the next thing we'll be taking care of is getting her epoxy made now. Uh, that's what we'll be working on next. So we will show you the revamping of this monstrosity over here next. After we get things worked out a bit. Uh, I so had it worked out a bit once. Do you have anything you need to add today? Yeah, where are you? Right here by the tables. I'll show redstone. It's good. We're recording, by the way. Here, do these. And it's working. Oh, you want me to do solar panels? Yeah, Crazy made a video yes. on these, on how to make them. Um, these are 8-volt solar panels. Um, and if you look in any eye like I just did, there's no use for them. Um, you can put them on a machine that needs 8 volts or less, and they will run by themselves. Um, like I think a furnace uses 8 volts or less. I think it uses like 4 or some shit. And that's only smelting, so that's not going to tell me. Uh, macerator, I think, uses less than that as well. Let's see. Yeah, it uses 2 EU a tick. So you could put a battery in the machine and put this right on the machine. Make sure it has view to the sky but use glass to keep it from getting rained on um mm -hmm. or to go boom yeah it makes nice big holes but another thing that you can do is make low voltage or ultra low voltage um those machine holes uh like what you build machines out of mm -hmm. And you can wire them up just like a regular full block. So you could take this thing uh, right here, which is just wood planks, wrought iron, and a wrought iron casing, and then lead cables. Or 
the other thing you can do, which is what we're probably going to be doing. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Let's see, wires. Tin wire, copper. Tin is what I actually need. Um, nothing can see the sky here, so what we're going to do is we're going to run them like this. Um, and then you can actually place the solar panel right on the wire. And unless something's been changed, what that definitely looks like it has because they're not connecting to it. I'll have to test it and make sure. Um, which I'll do a separate little video showing you guys how we do it. But this is how we set them up and you can make solar flowers. Um, crazy will need to make us a low voltage transformer to hook this up to and then that'll go and bring us low voltage in um, there is ultra low voltage cables um, the red stone uh, wait a minute that's the red alloy yeah red alloy cables uh, where's the other ones there are no loss through them so you can actually put uh, like this one here that's an 8 amp you can put this down and put eight of these on it and have no loss and eight amps of ultra low voltage they're nice to make uh, solar flowers there's also if you want to uh, use them that way there are trying to remember which one it is is it capacitor Yeah, these right here, tantalum capacitors. These are what we used to use in the old days. They can hold 8 amps or 8 voltage, and they are completely lossless. Just uses tantalum dust and manganese foil. You get 8 of them out of it, and these are basically your ultra-low voltage batteries. Um, unlike regular batteries, like I said, they have no loss in and out. Um, so you can use these to store the power from your uh, solar panels before you go to uh, low voltage. Because remember, those are ultra low voltage. So no trying to put low voltage into them. Or you'll blow them up. I actually haven't messed with solar, power, solar panels in a long ass time. And last time I did it, I blew them up about every time I set them up. Because I couldn't remember which way I had the transformer set up. Hopefully I will do a better job this time. Mm, you better. I hope. Because they're a lot more expensive now. Um, so we've got six of them. I will get crazy on making some more of them. And we'll try to build a solar flower when we get well, probably like 20 of them or something and see if we can get some solar power up in this place so that is it if you have any questions let me know i'll see you later bye